Hello everybody, this is Gleaming2024 here. Today I'm going to be showing you a cool add-on called Cool Iris. And let me show you it on here. You can zoom in. Cool Iris. Or as you can see right there. Um, so pretty much what this is, it is it lets you look at videos or pictures, whatever you want, in a really nice 3D wall. Um, you can use Google Images, Bing, YouTube, and all that stuff that it says from here. And I like to use it for Facebook because I'm on there a lot and there's a ton of pictures. You can organize it just amazing and you can look at it in a very fast, easy way. So I'm going to show you guys how to download that now. You're going to want to go into uh, Firefox. Even if you're on a Mac, you can use Firefox. So let's go click download now. You have to go to coolirus.com. Just let me mention that. Click download now. Then over here, it'll say click allow. Just click that. Cool Iris for Firefox, install now. It's an add-on to Firefox, it's not its own program. Okay, Cool Iris, complete, restart Firefox. Just restart. Give that a second to come back up. So you can see here, it shows all of my add-ons, but right now, uh, cool iris has been installed, you can disable it or uninstall it, but we're just gonna X out of that. And um, we we'll see we're back on the site, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Google, and let's think of a random thing to search. Let's search PS3 images. Um, okay, now I searched PS3 and I went to images in Google, and now when I move my mouse over an image, there's this little thing right here, little icon. That's the cool iris icon. If you move your mouse over an image and click that, this is what comes up. It brings up a separate tab, and it brings up all these options. You can log in, you got all the settings, but it brings you to this. Uh, let's see if I can see them out. Yes, it brings you to this 3D wall if you scroll down with your uh, mouse or whatever, if you scroll with the mouse ball, is what I'm trying to say, if you scroll with that, it'll zoom in and out. If you can, you, you can click to look at a different picture, or you can scroll up or down with the uh, arrow keys, or you can, just, you can just move around, you could use this if you want to go all the way down. But this is a really nice way, especially if you're on something like Facebook, to look at a bunch of pictures that are, you know, like, of one person and you want to be able to see them all in a very cool, nice way. So you can see how clear it comes up, and I think if you want to, I think there's a way to maximize it. Yeah, if you, there's a little button on the side, here, let me try and bring that back up. On the side of it, you can either email it, favorite it, I think that's what it is, favorite. Um, yeah, set as a favorite. Or you can click this button and it'll go to the actual page that it came from. So you click that and you see, click see full image and it's right there. Let's go back to the wall. But you can see it comes up in very good quality. It's a nice wall, it's a good way to look at images. See how clear that is? And I like how it brings up everything that you searched and everything around the picture that you clicked. You got after you move to a photo, you got to give it a second to clear up. There it goes. On the left, you got channel shopping favorites in my in my computer. You can view the photos from your computer. You can look at a bunch of stuff that's selling. I didn't even know that. Red color iPod Touch. Uh, cage case, uh, a camera, Sansa fuse, a bunch of nice stuff here. So you can go shopping on here. You can go to channels and look at photos of the day. So these are the photos of the day. It's pretty cool. You can click this button to move down.
if you want to go to the web page, just click the web page button right there. And there it is. But that is a very, very nice way, in my opinion. Being able to look at a bunch of pictures at once. Now, let me show you another example. If you go to YouTube.com, that come up. You can also do this with videos. So let's go with uh, this video right here. My video, You Give Love a Bad Name for Guitar Hero 5. As you can see, when I move my mouse over the video, the video thumbnail, it gets that little cool iris icon too. You click that. Again, it brings up the second tab with cool iris. And as you can see, what it does is it brings up all my videos that I have made. All of my videos, which is like 70 or 80 or something like that, brings up all of them in a very, very nice 3D wall. You can click on whatever video you want to watch. It's kind of loud. Um, let's see if I can show you quality. It works like it's being watched on YouTube just directly, which is very, very nice. And um, I'm a big fan of this program because it lets you do so many things and it lets you do it with style and it gives you all of the options. Let's go into settings, see what they have in there. You can allow zooming, invert mouse scroll, full screen, um, slideshows, max ball angle. You got all of these uh, options. I just clicked register, I don't want to register. But they have very nice op options, and you can even set your background image, so, like, if you're on here, instead of a big black background, you'll have your picture or whatever. These are TV clips. But I think that's very nice. Um, I'm a big fan of this. And I recommend it to anybody who has a Mac or a PC or anything like that. I think it's for a PC, too. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and download it. I'll have a link in the sidebar, www.cooliris.com. Let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a comment uh, in the section below. And uh, subscribe, rate, and all that good stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, I'm Galena2024. Peace out.